Bryson Bryant, the eldest son of NeNe Leakes from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, has recently found himself under heightened scrutiny after reportedly losing contact with his probation officer. According to court documents, Bryson missed two mandatory check-ins on August 14th and September 30th, raising alarms with law enforcement. Efforts by his probation officer to reach him were unsuccessful as phone calls went unanswered, and a review of local jail records confirmed that he was not in custody. This concerning development comes on the heels of a legal saga that began earlier this year when Bryson was embroiled in a series of criminal charges related to drug possession and providing false information to the police. Bryson's legal troubles first became public in May 2024 when he agreed to a plea deal stemming from a July 3, 2023, arrest in Georgia. He had been apprehended for possessing fentanyl and misleading police officers by providing a false identity a serious misstep that exacerbated his legal situation. However, in the end, prosecutors decided to drop the controlled substance charge, and Bryson accepted responsibility for giving a false name to law enforcement. Under the terms of his plea deal, Bryson received a 12-month probation sentence, a $500 fine, and was ordered to complete 40 hours of community service. His probation terms included strict requirements, such as undergoing random drug testing, participating in substance abuse counseling, and avoiding any drugs or alcohol. Despite the probation conditions, Bryson appears to have struggled with compliance. Missing two critical check-ins is not only a violation of his probation, but also a potential trigger for further legal consequences, especially given the nature of his initial charges. The missed appointments have reportedly put Bryson at risk of rearrest, which could lead to additional penalties or even jail time. The court has already cautioned Bryson about the importance of adhering to his legal obligations. According to documents obtained by Radar Online, Bryson was explicitly warned that failure to appear for court dates related to his July arrest would result in his bond being forfeited and a bench warrant issued for his rearrest. The court reminded him that he must keep track of all court appearances and notify the authorities of any changes in his contact information, emphasizing the gravity of his situation. This isn't the first time Bryson has faced such challenges. During his arrest in 2023, Bryson complicated matters by giving law enforcement the name of his younger brother, Brent Leakes. This attempt to avoid further scrutiny only served to worsen his legal position when officers discovered the deception, resulting in an additional charge of giving a false name, address, or birth date to a law enforcement officer. Bryson's attorney, Domingo C. Rumpf, has since shed light on the legal strategy that led to his May plea deal. According to Rumpf, the defense questioned the legitimacy of the initial traffic stop, suggesting that the police may not have had a reasonable, articulable suspicion for stopping Bryson in the first place. Rumpf explained that after reviewing the state's evidence, including body camera footage, the defense team concluded that the traffic stop might not have been legally justified, ultimately influencing the decision to resolve the case through a plea. Bryson's recent struggles have put his mother, Nene Leakes, in the difficult position of addressing his issues publicly. A reality TV icon known for her bold personality and candid approach, Nene has openly discussed the challenges she has faced with Bryson's substance abuse problems. When asked by Carlos King on his podcast whether the Real Housewives of Atlanta might have contributed to her son's struggles, Nene acknowledged the possibility, stating, I don't think it helped. She went on to reveal the extent of Bryson's addiction issues admitting, he needs a lot of counseling. Like many families out there, I have family members that are struggling with drugs and certain addictions. He has an addiction. Nene's candor reflects a deep frustration mixed with genuine concern. She shared that she has invested substantial resources into helping Bryson, funding multiple rehab stints and counseling programs in an attempt to guide him toward recovery. However, Nene has learned through her own counseling that true change has to come from Bryson himself. Every time I've sent him off, it's because I said, you are getting your ass up and we are sending you off. But I learned through counseling myself that he has to say, I'm ready to go, not me making him go, she explained. According to Nini, until Bryson makes the decision to embrace treatment and take ownership of his recovery, there's little more she can Nini's do beyond offering her, her family's struggles, resonates with many fans who have also grappled with the impact of addiction in their lives. However, Bryson's ongoing legal troubles cast a shadow over these efforts, underscoring the harsh reality that, despite a parent's best intentions, addiction often remains an uphill battle for those affected. Nene's efforts to help Bryson date back several years, but his repeated relapses have left her feeling helpless. As she puts it, her willingness to step in and pay for treatments, 
sometimes against his will, has ultimately proven insufficient without his full cooperation. Meanwhile, Bryson's latest legal woes have renewed public interest in his case, with fans and media outlets closely following the unfolding events, his probation violations and missed check-ins signal the possibility of further legal trouble, which could jeopardize his freedom if he doesn't take immediate steps to comply with the court's requirements. The court's strict conditions are intended not only to ensure accountability, but also to provide a structure that might help Bryson stay on the path to recovery. However, his apparent disregard for these terms has raised questions about his commitment to turning his life around. For Bryson's part, the road ahead is undoubtedly challenging. Legal obligations, including regular drug testing, substance abuse counseling, and staying away from drugs and alcohol, are now critical to his ability to remain on probation. With each missed check-in, he risks not only violating the terms of his probation, but also facing harsher consequences from the court system. Whether he will choose to comply and begin a new chapter remains uncertain. As for Nine, the saga has undoubtedly taken an emotional toll. Her willingness to speak candidly about Bryson's addiction underscores her love for him, as well as her awareness of the painful reality that addiction often places an unrelenting strain on family relationships. While she remains hopeful that Bryson will eventually reach a turning point, she also recognizes that her influence is limited without his willingness to accept help. In the public eye, Bryson's ongoing legal battles and substance abuse issues serve as a reminder of the broader challenges that many families face when dealing with addiction. Nene's experiences have sparked a dialogue about the toll addiction takes on families and the importance of personal accountability in the recovery process. For now, Bryson's future remains uncertain, leaving Nene, his family, and his fans hoping that he will one day choose the path to healing.